Understanding, I can't imagine, in English. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of the phrase, I can't imagine. This phrase is commonly used in English conversations, and understanding it can greatly enhance your communication skills. So, let's get started and explore its various aspects together. I can't imagine, is a phrase used to express that something is difficult to comprehend or envision. It can be used in different contexts, ranging from expressing sympathy to showing surprise. For example, if someone says, I can't imagine living without my phone, they mean that living without a phone is a very difficult scenario for them to envision. Empathy, when used in a sympathetic context, I can't imagine, shows empathy towards someone else's situation. For instance, I can't imagine how hard it must be for you, shows deep understanding and compassion. Surprise. In cases of surprise, this phrase expresses that something is beyond what the speaker expected. For example, I can't imagine he won the lottery, shows disbelief or amazement. Disagreement. Sometimes, I can't imagine, is used to politely disagree or express a differing opinion. Like, I can't imagine that being the best solution. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversations. 1. Sympathy. I can't imagine what you're going through, but I'm here for you. 2. Surprise. I can't imagine they finished the project so quickly. 3. Disagreement. I can't imagine that's the best way to handle the situation. Each of these examples shows how versatile and meaningful the phrase can be in various scenarios. Avoid confusing, I can't imagine, with literal inability to imagine. It's a figurative expression more about empathy, surprise, or disagreement, rather than a literal incapacity to envision something. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and use of, I can't imagine, in English. Remember, this phrase is a powerful tool in expressing empathy, surprise, and even polite disagreement. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using it like a native speaker. See you in the next video.